We'll get to back to that story shortly here, but cell phone radiation is harmful, but few want to believe it. That is the word from a UC Berkeley researcher who's drawn a strong link here between cell phone radiation and tumors, particularly in the brain. Now, researchers took a comprehensive look at stats from 46 different studies from around the world, and it found the use of cell phones for more than 1,000 hours, or about 17 minutes a day over a 10-year period, increased the risk of tumors by 60%. Joel Moskowitz conducted that study. He is a researcher at Cal's School of Public Health and director of Berkeley's Center for Family and Community Health. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is a, certainly an interesting study here, Joel. What exactly uh, in the cell phone did your research find that is causing cancer? Well, it's the microwave radiation coupled with low frequency pulsing that is likely the cause of the um, brain tumor risk as well as other tumor risks. And since our study was fund, found, um, completed, uh, there's been two studies out of Yale that showed increased risk of thyroid cancer among uh, individuals who are heavy cell phone users. And, and what That's a thousand hours or more of call time uh, increased the risk significantly, which amounts to, as you said, only about 17 minutes per day on average. So you're saying when you hold the cell phone up to your head, it is causing these cancer tumors in certain parts of your head. Correct. Either the head or the neck is at risk when you hold it next to your head. If you hold it near your breast, your breast is at risk. And if you hold it near your genitals, your genitals are at risk. And so we often, you know, I carry, I have two cell phones, a personal cell phone and a work cell phone, and uh, I keep them in my pocket. Uh, what, do you, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, is that also, uh, does that also pose a danger? Uh, it does pose a danger uh, in terms of reproductive harm and, and potential, potentially uh, risk to the genitals. So we recommend that you keep the cell phone off your body. Uh, initially, when the cell phones came out, they had special uh, devices to hold the cell phone away from your body. Uh, but over time, uh, those have disappeared. I have a lot of safety tips on my saferemr.com website, S-A-F-E-R emr.com uh, regarding how to reduce your risks from exposure to cell phone radiation. So Joel, the Food and Drug Administration is kind of the government authority on cell phones and cancer research here. Uh, here is uh, what they had to say about all of this. Uh, they said the FDA believes that the weight of scientific evidence has not linked exposure to radio frequency energy from cell phone use with any health problems. Now, the FDA is also the authority on the COVID-19 vaccine. So how does the average person really decipher your findings versus that of the FDA? Well, my findings coincide with over 200 scientists who have published over 2,000 papers on electromagnetic fields and uh, biology or health who have signed the International EMF Scientist Appeal, all of whom um, find that low-intensity cell phone radiation or wireless radiation or power line frequencies uh, cause various health risks, including uh, tumor risk. Uh, and, and all have called for much stronger regulation from the FCC, the regulatory body in the US, as well as in other countries. Uh, they've contested the radio frequency limits in those countries as well. Mm. The FDA is really a case of the blind leading the blind or the blind leading the blinded. Uh, the telecom industry is extremely powerful in Washington and spends over $100 million a year lobbying just in uh, D.C. So let's talk about that. Your report, uh, you purport that the federal government is not doing any real research into the subject. Why is that? And based on your findings, isn't a government study really needed with urgency? Well, since the 90s, when largely the U.S., the Congress cut off the funding of the EPA, which was doing cutting edge research, finding genotoxic effects, uh, the U.S. has only funded one major study, which was finally completed in 1918, oh, 2018, sorry, uh, which found clear evidence of cancer risk from cell phone radiation in the uh, male rats. Uh, immediately, the FDA dismissed the study and said it's not relevant to humans, which is absurd because almost all the toxicology studies the FDA relies upon is done on uh, animal models, especially rats. Um, so clearly, there is more need for research 
on cell tower effects, 5G, on cell phone radiation, uh, if, we are hope, if we have any hope of being able to develop um, safer technology. That stat of 60% uh, increase in risk there is really, really surprising, uh, something that uh, probably needs to be looked into uh, by the federal government as well, including scientists such as yourself. All right, Joel Moskowitz, the director of the Center for Family and Community Health with the UC Berkeley School of Public Health. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you for having me.